Because you're saying yes. there's a lot of large gap. Then I'm wrong. Am I wrong in saying that there was a, there's a braze joint in there? There's nothing no. braze in that statement, no. is there? No. We did have, if you remember, we did have something braze which used to fail. Oh, I see. Yeah, but now you. So there's nothing dangerous from no. that point of view. Okay. No. Do that, will you? Yes. So far, thank you. Just a general view of the steel store, of which I can actually take a piece out. Uh, Seven. Good. Seven, yeah. Fine. And um, what is this? A little box. 
Oh, well done! How splendid! Now, I've seen this from you. Yeah, I have indeed. I'm very much interested in it. I just arrived, actually. You just arrived. Yeah. Splendid. Very, very, very. And you gave me those super pictures. I found some more, so I should. Oh, well, yes. Yeah. So it really is a. Um, it's a cuddly. Yeah. It comes in very handy. Just, just, just look at that. that, that, that those names. I've been everywhere now. Haven't you? I mean, that's it, yes. Has he uh, done that? Yeah. Yeah. Did you do that? Was it one of the longest trips? Yeah. 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 Whilst restoring a 1965 Mont Deluxe, I realised that this was a unique design and I wanted to learn more about it. I asked uh, Alex Morton what models were produced and if there was a club for the Morton cyclist. I, I was surprised to learn that the Morton Safari Club had actually existed for a few years during the mid-60s for owners of the touring version known as the Morton Safari. The regional aims of the Morton Safari Club were firstly that there should be an annual meeting uh, at the home of the Morton Bicycle in Bradford on Avon, and secondly, that there should be a means of communication between members and that details of rides accomplished be published. I was supplied with a list of about 400 previous members and a right to each past member inviting them to join the new club for all Morton Bicycles to be known as the Morton Bicycle Club. The Uniform Club published its first magazine, uh, known as the Morton Cyclist, in April 1975. And since that time, the club has continued to grow rapidly with recruitment from recommendations, Morton bicycle dealers and at cycle rallies around the country. At the annual meeting in September this year, nearly 140 members have gathered from America, Europe and as well as all over Great Britain. During the early years of the club, uh, we didn't have the joy of a lightweight cycle and therefore required a good deal of modification of the standard Morton bicycle to make this more suitable for our own riding. With the launch in June uh, 83 of the AM7 Country and the AM2 Town uh, bicycles, uh, the membership began to rise and today we have nearly a thousand devotees to the mark. There are more models to choose from today and many members have acquired a few of these uh, new models for their own pleasure. They are of course a good investment and as an example, if you bought the AM7 new seven years ago, you can sell it for more than you originally paid and no other production cycle uh, enjoys this investment element as much as the Alex Morton bicycle. In 1985, uh, the magazine was renamed the Moultonier and now is, is published bi-monthly, keeping members up to date with the latest developments from the factory and other racing and the world record breaking successes. And the latest developments from uh, the USA uh, is fact keeping the club up to date uh, of the successes in the human powered Vehicle Association competitions. The earlier Maltons of the 1960s were produced under licensing in Kirkby and very few exist overseas today. However, since the launch of the AM range, more cycles are now exported and de demand continues to be very strong. But further from the factory, there is now a strong and growing group of Maltoners in Australia who regularly meet the rides and we do not believe it will be too long before they will start capturing some competition and successes down under. In the USA, Doug Millican of Millican Research Associates designed the fairing which allowed the AM bicycle to capture the world record of, of 51.29 mile per hour over the flying 200 meters. Uh, and this is not the end of the research for the vision of attaining 55 miles an hour and even 60 miles an hour are now the targets of research for the flying 200 meters using the AM liner designs. The Molten Aero successes are continually being developed also with the aim of even more con competition success. Still in America, Dave Bogdan from the, from the American importers Angle Lake Cyclery 
has ridden with great success in the Race Across America rides, and this has helped to develop the uh, present Jubilee and Speed models. Past Maltony editor Tony Hadland wrote the definitive book on the bicycle, known as the Malton Bicycle, which is, has now become a, a very much sought after after all the copies have now been sold, even though it was reprinted several times. Another member, Peter Notley, the well-known cycle tourist, published a small book halfway round, an epic journey from England to Australia, written by Colin Martin on a purpose-made Malton known as the Malton Marathon. And on the triathlete scene, members Richard Grigsby and Joe Beer have achieved many new firsts in the cycling category. And this feedback from not only Joe and Richard, but from other members too, is part of the close association that the club has with Alex Moulton Limited. The club has succeeded on its informality, which has allowed the uh, growth of an increasing number of local groups around the country by members who enjoy riding the bike. And uh, during the last few years, the club has been in attendance at the York Rally and in a unique example of togetherness with Alex Moulton Limited having a display in the trade area uh, and with the Malton Bicycle Club in the club's area showing the Maltons of all ages and providing helpful advice and support to its users. And the club uh, has now grown to become the, uh, what we believe to be the largest single make cycle club in the world and holds the largest Sunday morning club ride for all members of the family from infant to over 80. Uh, it is so good to uh, see and hear of cyclists of all age groups who rekindle the spirit of cycling and who love the benefits of a smooth, comfortable ride. And for the future, we anticipate more international groups and attending the meet, uh, and the growth of the triathlete interest will bring more uh, cyclists to the uh, club. And although uh, Tony Hadland's book is now out of print, it will probably be not too long before a a sequel charting the progress and recording the successes of the Alex Morton range will be published. But 1992 is a special year, uh, not only to celebrate the 30th anniversary of the launch of the Morton bicycle, and the following year the AM range will have been produced for a decade, but as we enthusiasts know, we've always been celebrating the success of the Morton and Alex Morton bicycle. Yes. Have you had a peep in there? Have you had a look up? That is nice, that's leather. I'd like a sitting ferry. Oh, yeah. I was very political when I did the show.
the rear bank as he did before we could this year. So it's um, yes, yeah, so we've normally got a class of tail on the on the front end handbars. So rather than watch television, just music with the head through the headphones. Yeah. You know, and it's a half hour, you know, so it's so going the but obviously you see the standard just altering from a standard yeah. Yeah. digital yeah. alteration. Yeah. No, I've got just four of them. 
Say to me, well, of course, you all view the cutting board. This is better for the mountain. Okay. Going up and down, doing their work. It's all nice. Guess what they're for? <laughs> Oh, is that what it means? Yeah. Ah. Um, I had a word with you. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. 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 Ye
sort of pinkish primer, <laughs> fractionally better than Russell. Well, the colour is not that much different. I mean, the, the true colour is somewhere between the two, isn't it, you know? Uh, 
uh, it's been done out of a deep intellectual and emotional and uh, interest in the thing. And you could see when uh, <coughs> Douglas was describing these events, some of which I had a great pleasure to do song with being there watching them, the satisfaction of it, the interest of it, is not merely the contest of one athlete against another, which after all is the traditional activity, put a pair of shoes on and run, as it were, that there is a, something that, that is a whole new dimension of a man with, it was, with his intelligence is able to make an instrument which multiplies the human performance in this remarkable way. The challenge of that um, is a thing of deep interest to so many, and perhaps the way that gathered here this evening, 100 or so, are moved, well, uh, we're all united by being interested in, in the motion bike, otherwise we wouldn't be here. So some of the ones that I see seem to be what I would call a deviation of that theme. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> never mind. There's no way that, that one could stop anyone deviating from anything. But um, the main theme is, is the one that I've, I've designed. And so, there we are. So that, uh, thank you, Doug, very much for, for that splendid presentation. And you can see by the rapt attention how much you, you, you have interest in this one. Yes, <laughs> uh, then, uh, just the last minute or so uh, on general affairs, um, it's obviously for me an enormous satisfaction to see the growth um, in every way of this club, growth in quality, growth in, in, in uh, the whole presentation, the whole behaviour. I mean, take our, our dinners. Um, look at what splendid occasions has been compared to the earlier ones, old faces, new faces, but the whole uh, event is so much, um, so advanced and so much progressed. Then what I call my wigwams, or not my wigwams, but the, 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 the set of tents on the lawn. There used to be just one person, I think, just in the, in the boathouse and or in, in the summer house, and now there's an ordinary arrangement of, of tents in, in themselves, rather strange things, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but that, that's a development. And as I was saying to some of you, that um, what we really have got to end up by doing is having an enormous campfire in the middle. Then I think what our gardeners would say about the grass. I think perhaps we won't do that. Anyway, any rate, it's development all along. And um, let me say that none of it would have happened but for the splendid um, self-sacrificing effort of our um, organizers and, and those of the club officials um, that have put in a tremendous amount of work. Uh, look, for instance, at the magazine, how that's developed uh, from its slender beginnings and how Mike uh, has taken it forward to, to this. Is it the sixth issue, I think, now? Is, is that right, Mike? Um, which has gone right over the world. So every element of the club um, has advanced in relatively few years, and um, that's deeply pleasing for me, and thank you all for participating in it and giving so much satisfaction. Thank you.
be all right in the time of trial as well. It's a point of interest. Uh, Richard says that uh, the first rides up at 9.31, he'll be off at 9.45, that's quarter to 10. And uh, it's obviously finished uh, about, before 11 o'clock, quarter to 10.